Hey guys, it is Thursday, the 7th, I believe. Um, I think I'm going to vlog today. I have just a crazy day going on. Um, my in-laws are flying in from New York tomorrow morning on Friday really early, like 8.30, their flight comes in. Um, and we are actually celebrating Christmas with them this weekend, so a couple weeks early. Um, and we are not going home to New York this year for Christmas. Um, so I'm going to really miss my family, of course. Um, because they're not flying down and we're not going there so I won't be with my family for Christmas um, but yeah it's just a crazy day because tomorrow is pretty much a wash because a wash meaning like I can't do any filming or editing or anything because my in-laws will be here and I have to entertain them pretty much all day Matt will be at work oh, and Greg will be at school so today I'm heading out. Um, I've been really busy all week, so Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday, I pretty much um, filmed like all morning long different videos or clips and then did a lot of editing and really only was able to get out of the house a couple times um, while Grady was at school for like a short period of time. Not that I'm complaining because I chose to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday film like a, like a crazy person. Um, so today I decided I'm not filming except for vlogging, but I'm not going to like do any sit down videos. Um, I just want to get out of the house and do a few things. I want to head out to, um, well, I have to go to Home Goods. I have a few things to return, but I want to go to a Home Goods that I don't go to that much because it's like an hour from my house. Um, so it's going to kill two birds with one stone because I'll be able to return the stuff I need to return, look around there. It's a really good Home Goods. And then there's a mall, um, a mall that I love going to that's like right across the street. And again, this is like an hour away. So I'm done with all my Christmas shopping. Um, I have a few things I have to like wrap, um, but pretty much I'm done with my Christmas shopping, which feels really good. I shipped four huge boxes to New York to my family, all their Christmas presents two days ago. So that's something I could, I could check off my list this week. I just had a really productive week. I feel really good. And then, like I said today, besides the vlog, I want to have a me day and I want to get some errands done and also do some leisurely things. Um, I don't have anything like in particular I want to buy at the mall. I just really enjoy this particular mall. I like to look around. Um, and I get a lot of gift cards and some cash for Christmas and my birthday. So I want to just kind of look and see. My birthday is next month. So I want to look and see at this mall um, if there's anything that I really have my eye on so I can save my pennies, you know, my Christmas money and birthday money for it. I'm finally getting a new camera soon within the next less than a month from now. Um, like Christmas time I'm getting my new camera um, it's a camera that I've wanted for about a year and a half now it's the Canon G7X Mark II which is a really good camera compared to all the cameras I've ever used since I started YouTube it's gonna be my first camera that's in high def it has a viewfinder so for me that's a big deal I know a lot of youtubers have cameras way better than that but I have always filmed on like basic non high def cameras and I'm really excited because for me, it's a big deal to have a high def camera with a viewfinder because if you've, ever, if you've ever sat down and filmed a video where you couldn't see yourself, I can't tell you guys how many, how many videos I have filmed over the past five years where I cut my, my whole head out, cut half my head out, I wasn't in focus, like whatever the case is, that will not be an issue anymore moving forward when I get the new camera, so I'm so excited about that. And if I seem really hyper and energized right now, I am because I've had like three cups of coffee and it's 8.20 in the morning. So I'm going to head out. I have no idea what amount of footage or what I'm going to film today, but I'm going to vlog. And also I wanted to mention quickly, there will be no grocery haul up this weekend because my in-laws are coming. I am not going grocery shopping. Um, I'm going to go to BJ's next week um, and then I will put that haul up and that will kind of be like a grocery haul ish to make up for a no grocery haul this weekend and I'll probably like include my meal plan next week when I go to BJ's even though I'll be halfway through the week I hope that makes sense but I wanted to make sure I didn't forget that no grocery haul this weekend there will be a video up this weekend whether it is this video you're watching now or a video that I already have ready to go but I know a lot of people watch my grocery hauls and look forward to them I'm very sorry but there won't be up there won't be one up this weekend, and there'll be a BJ's haul up next week to make up for it. I'm going to stop talking and go, so I will catch up with you guys later. Garage door. Alright guys, 
guys, I just finished up at Home Goods. I did my returns, and I actually was looking for a rectangular, small-ish, um, like really heavy-duty basket that is was not wicker that I could use in my pantry because I have a bunch of different like oils, like olive oil, sesame oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, etc. And I keep them in the floor in my pantry and they're always getting like separated and like I want them all in here um, just to keep my pantry a little bit more organized with all my cooking oils. So I found this, I think it was like $7.99. Yeah, $7.99, and it's really heavy duty, and I like that it's not wicker. And then I also found, there was a bunch of Ray Dunn there, which I got a clip of, but I found one of my unicorn mugs. Um, there were two of them, and I did get one. This was one of the ones um, on my little, like, must-have list, I guess you could say. And I have, like, three more that I need to find, and then my Ray Dunn mug collection is complete, so... I'm going to go on to the next errand right now. All right, guys, I just went to this place right in the same plaza that the Home Goods is in. It's my favorite cupcake spot in Charlotte. It's called Gigi's Cupcake. So if you're ever in Charlotte or you live in Charlotte, definitely check it out. It's in South Park. Um, but I got a cupcake for myself, my husband, and Grady. And then I also got a cupcake for my friend who just kind of needs a little pick-me-up this week. This time of year is really stressful, you guys all know. Um, so I'm going to actually give her, I think, this confetti one because she loves like anything confetti or birthday cakey. Um, so I'm just going to stop by her house on the way to my house back home um, and drop it off to her. I think she'll really enjoy it. And then I got a um, uh, peanut butter chocolate pretzel cupcake, a cookie dough cupcake, which is my favorite, and then a salted caramel cupcake, which Matt will have. Uh, actually, no, Matt will have the pretzel one, excuse me. Matt will have pretzel, I'll have cookie dough, and Grady will have the salted caramel. But Grady might want mine, so either way, I won't complain. But they're so yummy, and it's going to be really hard to wait till tonight to eat these. So I'm back home, and I have my oils in this... Um, this is that basket I got at Home Goods, and it's just perfect. I even have room for another one, um, which sometimes I do get like grapeseed oil once in a while, so that would fit in here perfect. But I just keep canola oil, um, or this is vegetable oil, olive oil, um, this one's canola, coconut oil, cooking spray, and then sesame oil. And it's just perfect because usually these end up scattered all over the bottom here. Um, and now they're all in one spot. So that is a success. All right, guys, so I'm back home. It's about um, 12, a little bit after 12. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some things. Um, I did check my P.O. box. I want to say first, thank you guys so much for all your Christmas cards. Um, they really make my day, to be honest. I only check my P.O. box. Um, I try to go once a week. Sometimes if like someone tells me something's coming, I will obviously go. Um, but the past few times I've checked my P.O. box, I've gotten Christmas cards and they make me really happy. I've sent a card back to everybody who sent one to me because I truly do appreciate it. Um, but I want to give a special shout out to Peg, who has become a friend of mine through YouTube. We were actually supposed to meet in real life um, back around Thanksgiving when her and her family um, came up from Florida to Asheville, North Carolina, but it just didn't work out. With distance and everything because it would have been too far for um, just us to make it work because um, Asheville is a couple hours for me but anyways um, she had sent me something and Grady something and I just got it in my PO box and I wanted to spend a special send a special thank you to you Peg because Grady is going to love this he loves stuffed animals some of you guys know this already but she sent him a little beanie baby, little puppy. Um, I don't know if it has the names on these anymore. They used to, yes. <clears throat> this is Barks, the dog. So I'm very excited to give this to him when he gets home from school. And then um, Peg also sent me some Burt's Bees lip um, balm, which I love Burt's Bees. I actually have a pumpkin spice one in my desk drawer right now, and these are perfect because my lips get so chapped. And then um, also a hand-in-hand -hand sustainable sugar scrub in sea salt, which is great because my hands have been super dry and cracked, so I can't wait to use this. And then she also sent me two of these um, mud masks, and I've actually used both of these, and I really like them. This is a Yes to Grapefruit uh, mask, and this is the Yes to Cotton mask, and they are mud masks. So 
Thank you so much, Peg. I also got your card and read it. Um, and I'll definitely be writing you back. And again, just thank you to everybody who sends cards and stuff. I really appreciate it so much. Um, I had a lot of fun at the mall looking around. I actually only bought one thing, um, which is I have a friend who has an early January birthday. Um, and I actually went to Anthropology and got her the um, Capri Blue lotion, which I have and love. And let's see if I can. Um, it's the. If you guys know the Capri Blue Volcano Candle, they have a lotion now which smells exactly like it. Um, I don't want to open this and ruin the tape, but I actually have, um, I actually have one in my bag. It looks like this. Um, and my friend whose birthday is coming up actually um, likes this candle as well. So I decided, I know this works really well. Um, and she's in upstate New York, so I know if my hands are dry, her hands are dry and cracked. So I got her one of these because I love it, and I know she's going to love it too. Um, so I'll just send this out in January. And then a bunch of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to do like a Christmas decor video. I'm not. Um, honestly, guys, I do the same kind of Christmas decor like every year. I don't really do anything drastic as far as like too much changing or whatever. But I will show you guys a few things here on this vlog in just a second. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the decor and getting uh, hungry, so I'm going to eat some lunch and then go get greedy and today's therapy day, so it's a pretty boring day, but um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys my tree. Alright guys, so on the outside of my home I have this wreath, I've posted on this, um, posted on my Snapchat and Instagram. I have this little mini tree with a cute little mat and then this um, happy holidays like wooden uh, snowman thing on my front porch. And then, when we go in, so this is our tree. I know you guys have seen this because I've been posting about it constantly. It's just like a pre-lit uh, artificial tree. I think it's either seven and a half or eight feet tall. I cannot remember, um, but it has different settings. I just have it now on the one that alternates between um, the white lights and the colored lights. Um, and then just a little tree skirt. Grady set up his Thomas train around the bottom so he likes to watch the train go around the bottom. So that is the tree when you walk in. And then, let me turn the light on. Over here, right in the entryway, we have this um, shelf here and Matt built this shelf. It's pretty large, I think it's four and a half feet long uh, and it's just a floating shelf. So it looks like that and we have uh, Matt's stocking, my stocking, Grady's stocking, and my cat Alice's stocking, and then just some simple winter decor. I didn't want it too, too Christmassy because I want to be able to keep it up uh, after Christmas, obviously minus the stockings. And then on our TV um, stand thing, I just have, again, very simple decor. Um, I just don't feel like it's worth doing a whole video on, guys, because I really do the same kind of things every year. So unless I change it up one year drastically, um, this is what I do. So I just kind of mix and match the new pieces I get with old pieces. Um, so this is our little console table. And then over here in my kitchen, I have this other floating shelf. We have four of these in our home that my husband built. This one is just a little smaller. It's closer to four feet um, long. And then I just have a wreath, which that hook constantly bothers me. My husband has a hook that he bought at Lowe's. Um, that he has been meaning to change out, but I just keep forgetting the two rose gold deer I got at Target and then I have a wire brush tree which is large and then This little arrangement of eucalyptus and berries and all kinds of little wintry stuff. So that's what I have here um, kind of near my kitchen area and Then in my kitchen all I have guys is just this little joy jar which I got at home goods uh, Ray Don Joy Jar and the jar that Kate Schwenke got me in our box swap and I just kind of put them around my cookie jar that was on here anyways and I really didn't do anything else in my kitchen because I'm just not fancy like that. I think I'm going to call it a vlog. It's much later. I think it's like 5 o'clock right now. Uh, we just got home a little while ago from Grady's Therapy. Um, we go there from 3 to 4 and then I had to do a quick errand after with him. And just got home and I'm going to change into my jammies and make some dinner and hang out for the rest of the night and actually have to get this vlog edited. It's going to take me probably a couple hours to edit the clips um, so I can get this up Saturday morning 
because like I mentioned earlier, my in-laws are flying in tomorrow early. So I'm not gonna really have any time to do anything tomorrow. So I wanna get this vlog edited up on Saturday. I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me for the day. I say all the time, I know it's not that exciting, but you guys like them, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.